Reboil absorption. They are mostly applied for rectifiers. Remember, rectifying section is the top section of the distillation column in which we need to have a liquid going on top. In this case, it's going to be our MSA liquid the absorbent. And it is interesting because now we are going to have a reboiler right here. So it's kind of similar to the rectifying section, but we also have a uh, stripping section. So it's kind of funny. The stripping section is here. We have the reboiler. As you can see here, we have the liquid and we are forming a gas or a vapor, which tends to go upwards. It is difficult to condense the vapor leaving the top of a distillation column. A liquid MSA called an absorbent will be fed to the top tray in the place of the reflux. So remember the reflux is for the distillation and here we have the MSA for the reboil absorption. The resulting operation is called reboil absorption. The main product is going to be the clean vapor or gas stream. And the liquid is going to contain mostly the MSA plus the impurities which were removed from the feed. The feed can be both vapor or liquid, or gas or liquid. In reboil absorbers, partial stripping of the lighter component is going to be performed. This occurs in the lower part of the equipment, which is right here. Now try to guess what will be the composition of the gas form here in the reboiler and the liquid form right here. Hopefully you see it clearly that this reboiler is acting or is very important in this unit operation. Without this, certain absorptions were not going to be achieved as high in percentage or maybe even nothing at all will occur.